Assalamualaikum and very good morning to everyone. Today, I would like to show you, to demonstrate to you uh, about the lab sheet number 5 is uh, inspection stamping part, plastic part using 3D scanner. But first uh, part will teach you on the class. But in the second part, maybe we need to, you need to go through this video. Okay, today I will show you demonstrate to you how to compare the CAD data and the scanning data and then to get the uh, dimension accuracy or deviation of the part when you maybe this one actually in the industry we use a uh, JIT and features but however for this lab sheet we will use the 3D scanner as the equipment to, uh, to check the quality of the producing part such as a sheet metal or plastic part. Okay, I will demonstrate to you. Okay. The software we use for today is the Polywork. Polywork is one of the software in uh, 3D scanner. Lah, because we have a lot type of software, but one of the software for scanning and for editing, we can use the Polywork methodology Swiss. Okay, first you need to turn on uh, software, Polywork software and then you go to start Polywork inspector okay okay the software will turn on and then the software actually we have a two function first to for scanner second function I will demo you how to uh, to compare between the uh, cat data you draw CAD data and then the scanning cloud data you need to measure and to verify how the accuracy of the that data okay first you need to import your CAD data you have need have two type of data first you need to import your CAD data okay you go to import and then you go to the import polygonal node but import your CAD data for example, okay, my cat data at the desktop, okay. Then click open. Okay, you need to take the time for the operation to import the cat data in this software, but this depend on your computer processor, RAM something to the speed you can upload this data in this software all right we, we need to wait maybe few okay this one uh get data from the uh you you drawing get data okay and then also you need to import the import polygonal model that means the polygonal model is the model from data from the 3d scanner you scan and then we need to compare the quality of the data between a uh, producing part and then you create in the CAD design data. Okay. Please. And then you also to check okay, STL data. Then you need also millimeter. Okay. Now actually your data already matched. Uh, uh, this, this one maybe the location is same. Because I model from this cloud data. However, when you want to start to compare, to check your dimension accuracy of this data, what you need to do, you go to the alignment and then you uh, tick the, uh, that box, okay, the arrow below side and then you select best fit data to the reference object and then select okay first maybe you we use a, a point pen okay you change point pen okay reference object actually your your cat data as a reference object you select specific and then you select cat data okay okay and then uh, for the data object object we want to measure between uh two first uh cat data versus uh, uh scan data okay then also we specific it is stl and then you can click start okay normally when you want to 
uh, to compare the data, you need to find three position to compare, point compare. Okay, you rotate the same uh, view for left and side, left and right. That means the cat data and the uh, cat data and the cat data and the scanning data. And at the same view, if you this one right view, this one also you need rotate until right view. Okay, basically the normal concept when you want to compare, you need to find three exists. The better one is three exist point. That means X, Y, and Z point. Okay, and then you click pick. For example, here point number one, you just click this one. Maybe the uh, Y direction. Uh, this one actually uh, the uh, Y direction. Okay, here also the point number one. Okay, point number two. You just split this side. Maybe this one is z, z direction. This one also same place. Okay. And then one more thing is x direction. Okay. Click. Then click here. And then right click. Okay. You click when you finish. Ready three point. You ready tick. Okay. And then you right click your mouse. Please right click your mouse when you ready finish. Okay. And then the data will compare. Okay. Now. Now, maybe we will need to analyze the result. Okay, we need to analyze the result. Okay, you go to the first. We can use data deviation from object surface. This one. Eh? And then you click major. The data will compare. Okay, from here you can see the, the, the upper side. The 3.8, the highest value of deviation. That means the upper from the bottom side is 3.8. This one, that means the error data. Lah. How many? The, the inside one, negative. Then you need to measure. Maybe you can go here and then you can create a pick point. Maybe you want to make a detail point. For example, here you want to know. The value of deviation. Okay, for example, this one negative. That means lower than the uh, current surface. That means current surface from the cat data lower than inside because the surface go to inside. But if the 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 positive value that will go to outside. That means the negative. This one is the error of the uh, cat modeling. The part is error is three point eight five. Okay, and then we also can get get the higher and lower uh, value. Eh? For example, with that. Okay, you also can get the higher and maximum value. Okay, this one you can setting lah if you want. In your lab sheet, you need to find the high and high and value point lah. For example, for example here I show you. Okay, different data. Okay, here pro alignment with this one. Maybe if you if one put the high and low value, for example here, the red color is more higher place lah. Actually, we can get the the automatic. Uh, labeling. Okay, I try to found that. It also can be also data thickness because this one do not have deviation object boundaries. Maybe we can get which point the uh, high deviation and low deviation. In this data, okay, wait, maybe I go back. Short measurement, maybe projection, filtering, keep tolerant, duration, and then major. Okay, now, lotus duration actually in previous software easy when we check. Okay, for example, if you want. 
uh, the high deviation location and low deviation in this one maybe you want to change the color of the mapping okay but normally we use a rainbow lah. rainbow because easy to differentiate which the the higher location or lower location because here you can uh, find the higher uh, area is a uh, red color but the lower uh, uh, area is the purple okay maybe if you want to measure uh, this area for example the red color how the the the, how the value of the error here you can tick, click uh, from the pick, pick point okay for example here okay here is 3.53 okay and then normally because when you use this software you can maybe the first time try to stamp that part and then you need to measure because the stamping part is not is geometry part but there is complex shape so uh, equipment easy to measure we use a 3d scanner as a measure when the, when we ready measure we can compare between the cat data and the, the stamping part uh, for this thing we scan and then we compare which which uh which place the most error place that mean uh when during the process we we can improve that all right okay i think i think that's all for our let's see maybe we go to let's see we go through i will share you this uh data okay detail we explain on okay for example this one you need to screenshot okay okay e okay this one cat data original you just screenshot your given data this one deviation and this is and then you need to find uh, maximum and minimum deviation okay maximum minimum actually you also can get at the polywood software okay here also you can get the highest uh, maximum is 3.852 and the lower is negative 3. Uh, nine nine. Okay, that's all I think for me. Maybe you can ask your uh, teaching engineer during the lab session. For this lab session, I just demonstrate how to compare the data and then to verify to analyze the data whether the data is uh, error or not. How to uh, find out the minimum and maximum deviation deviation uh, value okay that's all from me thank you and assalamualaikum